Bum, bum, bum. Hi, everyone. Hi. Uh, welcome aboard the Tabletop Express. And today we are playing Halls of Hegra. Um, Halls of Hegra is a solitaire war game that came out last year. And I am really looking forward to showing you guys. Um, we originally were going to be doing Doubt as our product tonight. But some last minute changes means it's solo time. And what better way to do solo time than one of the best solo games I've played this year. Ready? Whoa. So I'll be teaching you how to play Halls of Pegra. Um, I got over here the rule book next to me. And I'm going to read chapter one. No, I'm kidding. Um, on the back of the rule book is an awesome player aid that walks you through all the steps. This is a historic World War II game that takes place over... 12 days each turn represents a actual day of this here i'll read i'll read it right here right from the book from an abandoned mountain fortress you command a group of norwegian volunteers fighting numerically superior german forces in the early days of world war ii so halls of hegra is a solo only game where you play as the commander during the siege which is divided into three stages the mechanisms you will use are worker placement bag building, and area control slash tower defense. Um, so the game has like all the rules on it and walks you through it as you go, which is great. And it's very cinematic and story driven. So let's just dive in and let's play it. Um, so the first thing we're going to do, I have this handy sheet right over here is we are going to resolve the event phase. So there's a bunch of different cards per whatever phase we're in. We're currently in the mobilization phase of the game. So I'll flip over a card and we got, what is this? So it tells you exactly what to do on your uh, for your turn. Where is that camera? Right over here. So you must move the fear marker two levels up and the doubt marker one level down. That's not good. Um, we also know it's, it's a sunny day, which is awesome. Uh, you'll see why momentarily. So, slide this down. Boop. And let's resolve this event marker. So, you must move the fear marker two levels up. So, we're at fear level five. And the doubt marker one level up. Okay. So, we're at doubt level one. And this is bad. We don't want this to go up. Okay. Um, after we're done there, we're going to add doubt disks to the recruit bag. So this game comes with three different bags. This one that says recruit bag is the recruit bag, patrol bag, hit bag, great. So I'm gonna take one of these doubt tokens, which are these purple tokens, and I'm gonna drop it in the bag. The reason why I took one was because on the doubt track, it's at level one. Had it been at level two or three, I would take two or three and add to the bag. And that's bad, you don't want doubt in your bag. Um, Afterwards, I'm going to now draw from my recruit bag. I'm going to gain one supply per volunteer placed in the ready. So here we go. Draw one. So I drew, I, what I'm trying to do is not draw purples. These are essentially my workers. So I drew a hunter card, a hunter worker, and I could draw up to four of these guys, okay? Um, and also, let me keep the chat open. Hey, what up, Dan? Uh, this is the one of the best solo games of 2023. Spoilers. Um, okay, so this Hunter one, I'm going to set it aside. And <clears throat> I'm going to reach in the bag and draw another thing. I don't want a purple token, okay? Those are the doubt tokens. We don't want that. There's currently two in the bag. All right? So I got a a volunteer, okay? So it's like a, a, like a, like a, a townsperson. And if they end up being added to my board my my board they come with a supply which i realize i'm supposed to start the game with one supply right over there all right so i could choose to reach in to the bag and draw a third one which i'm going to or i could uh stop pressing my luck okay good i drew another green guy that's great so i could choose to draw a fourth one <clears throat> and if i draw the fourth one and it's a and it's not a doubt token we're good but if it is a doubt token, what's going to happen is of these that I drew, I'm only taking one and the rest go back to the reserve. 
And that's awful because in these, in these first three phases of the game, you want to make sure you get everyone out. Okay, great. I got a soldier. See, he's got little bullets. Okay, great. So all these are going to go into my ready. So let's do that. So I'm going to add two hunters right here into my ready. Another soldier. And one of these townsfolk, the villagers. And they're going to come with a supply, which is great. Okay, now we're going to move defenders from the rest area to the ready area, which we're not doing that. We're in the morning phase now of the game. Uh, we're going to spend supplies to move anyone from the tire to here. We're not going to do that right now. Um, and now we're going to move defenders from ready area to action spaces. Okay, so these are all the different action spaces of the game. Um, oh, yeah, so Barrows has not played this because it is a beast looking of a game. Uh, but it's very straightforward. So I'm going to take all my workers. So I'll show you what I got, right? I got these soldiers, got four of them. I got two hunters, okay? And I got three of these villagers. Um, and lastly, one commander, which I guess is supposed to be us. And all these different circles over here on the board indicate uh, where I could place my workers to do worker placement actions. And we're going to carry them over from this area to 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 this area. And then we, after doing all our actions, we carry out the rest of the, the game into the morale phase and stuff. And yeah, it's going to be awesome. So here's what we're going to do. My defender um, has a couple options where they can go. They can go to any of these spots to have these different circles. Some of them are going to say an X1. Others are going to say an X2. Some of them cross off. It tells you you can't put that particular kind of worker there. Uh, so in this case, I cannot put that commander into that spot. Um, however, some of this, like this solid black circle, is reserved just for my commander. And this one right here, the inspire action, and the negotiate action both have the commander symbol on the bottom with a little two badge on the top right. And that means if you place a commander there, it's worth double the amount of workers on that spot, which is great. Um, but I'm going to go over here and we'll just promote a defender. And I'll put one of my little guys right here. And what's cool is I could kind of decide what I want to do uh, and just change it up as I go. So I'm going to take this guy, my uh, hunter. I'm going to place him into the snow shovel area because he's worth double in that. And that's good for unlocking more worker placement spots. Um, I'm going to send out someone to collect some supplies. So let's do that. I think I'll take a soldier out to do that. Um, we want to repair as much as possible. So I'm going to put two of my villagers to go out and repair. So that's two right there. Um, let's see. Let's actually take, hmm, you know, we could take also this dude right here, this hunter to go out and run. And then I have two more for repair. So I'll do that for repair. I have one lonely guy left. So I will just have him, let's have him shovel some snow too. I could also just choose to put him in my rest area, my ready area, so I could use him for next turn. Because, as you can imagine, all these workers that I'm about to use, they're going to get tired and be put into this tired area, which is not good, because then I can't use them. Okay, we're done there. Now, we're going to go through the different phases of completing these actions. I have no one over here, oh, which probably is a bad idea. Oh, whatever. Let's run with it. No one over here. I lost the game already. No, I'm kidding. Uh, this game, actually, I've never won. Uh, so if I win today, awesome. It's probably because I messed up a rule. Um, so defend the walls. We're not going to do that. Fire artillery. 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 Art uh, anyways, words. They hurt. Uh, we're going to go over there. Uh, next is the supply run. So I could send out a new supply run. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have this guy go out right there. And this guy is going to go out right there. And they're going to resolve a supply run right now. So uh, they're going to, this guy's going to move. And during, and this area tells you how far they can move. 
So, oh yeah, thanks. Yeah, it's not too, too bad where I lost probably already, but I probably did. Um, so this tells you I can move one to six spaces. So let's do that. I'm going to move one, two, three, four. I'm going to stop right there. I'm going to pick up this little supply token. Hey, Brian Chandler, what up? Uh, I'm going to move the hunter. One, two, three, four. He's going to do the same thing. And he'll collect that. Okay, so the reason why I'm doing that is because we have limited supplies. So these workers that I'm sending out, out into the fields, are actually running to get some supplies and then eventually bring them back to me. So I want that, you know? Um, the next step is we're going to the maintenance phase. So I'm going to go top to bottom in the maintenance phase. Uh, we are going to start with these guys. So this guy has a shovel level of one, and this guy has a shovel level of two. So we're going to move one, two, three. We're, we're reducing this uh, slow me uh, snow meter from you know with three spots. So when we hit this bottom one, we're going to flip top the topmost snow tile. And what that's going to be are steel plates. So we get to add, I don't know if you see that, two miss tokens to the hit bag. That's great. Um, miss tokens are great because uh, at some point there's going to be some uh, air raids going on. And what we want is we want a lot of these miss tokens in the bag. So when we're getting hit, if we draw a miss, guess what happens? They miss. That's good for us. Um, so we're going to put that over there. Anytime I resolve one of these actions, I'm going to move people back to the tired area. Uh, next is the repair. So this is pretty cool, too. Um, the repair allows you to remove one damage tile or unjam one status tile. So what we're going to do right now is we're going to remove... If you notice, there's like these all these different uh, chits that have this little black outline over here. And what that indicates is that particular uh, spot is damaged. So I need to repair it. So I'm going to take off these two guys. And I'm going to repair this spot right here. Okay, this is repairing a gun. And the repair token, the, the you know, like the damage token, is going to go into the hit bag. So when the, or air raids happen, they could potentially hit the things we just repaired, which would suck. Okay. Next, we're going to do the same thing with these guys. They're going to go back to the tired area, and I'm going to remove this one as well for the gun. And then we're going to promote a defender, which means we're going to take this villager, put him back into the reserve, and get a soldier. Okay, so that soldier and this guy are going to go back into the tired area. And we are done with all of our worker actions. We're, and now we're going to go down... The rest of the list, we're going to go into the morale phase. So we're going to check for any morale modifiers. Um, is it a red day today? No. Are we out of supplies? No. We would we would lose morale based on all this the criteria. So it's not a red day, which you would know be, based on this track. It's only day 6, 9, 10, and 11. Uh, we are not out of supplies. We have two supplies. Defenders in the waiting area of the infirmary, infirmary we have none. Per defender in the morgue, we got none in the morgue. And then if we have any uh, infantry out into here, into the red sectors, which doesn't happen yet. We don't have to worry about that. So we're done there. Now it's on to this morale track. So unfortunately, we didn't increase the morale, nor did we decrease it. So we get nothing. Nothing really happens during this phase. So womp, womp. Um, and then we're going to go down and check if we, if we surrender, which this is how we lose the game. We check at this point. So if there's three or more defenders in the morgue, we lose the game. If there are four or more defenders in the waiting area, we lose the game. Uh, because you'll see how people heal up when we get to it. Um, if there are six artillery on the board, we lose the game. Or in the case of during a siege, Fewer than during the last you know round of the game, uh, fewer than the required number of healthy defenders left, which we're not there yet, so don't worry about that. Um, we're going to check the turn track for any of these patrols, which we have two little gray circles, which means we reach into this patrol bag. We need to practice a lot of words. Today is all about practicing words, Dan. <laughs> all right. 
So I'm reaching into the patrol bag, and I drew my first patrol. It's patrol number five, who is going to spawn right over here. Okay. I'm going to reach in again. And they're spawning here during the mobilization phase. Later on, as the game goes on, first attack, siege, and siege two, they'll be they'll be coming closer and closer to us, which is not good. Um, the next guy that's going to come out is the spot number four. So think of these patrols as uh, different guards that are protecting all these supplies and trying to you know block us as we try running with these supplies. Okay. Um, so after that is done, we're going to check for retreat or last stand, which hasn't happened yet. We're going to move the turn marker. And we are done with turn one. Woo! Okay. There's only uh, 11 turns in this game. So, and the game takes about, when you really know how to play it, it could be like an hour long game. Uh, okay. So let's, let's reset everything. So first, we move the weather marker back to the center. So it starts always at a cloudy day. And we are going to flip open this next event card. But before I do that, one thing I did forget to explain is when we're shoveling snow and make the snow level uh, lower to zero, this always gets reset back to three. And the game is awesome with having all of the rules on this board. So awesome. OK, here we go. Dun, dun, dun. Let's see. OK, it's a sunny day, so people can move fast. Uh, we're going to injure two defenders. That sucks. OK, <laughs> so uh, how you determine who's getting injured is by this list right here. So you go from the top and go down. So one of my hunters is going to get injured. So it's this guy right here is getting injured. And what you do is you roll a die. Right? This is actually a really cool mechanic. You roll a die. So he got injury of four, which means he's going to go into this hospital bed. There's three hospital beds into slot number four. And while he's in this hospital bed every turn, he's going to go up in level and eventually he'll get up and be healed. Okay. Uh, now the second guy gets hit. So we look back on here. It is the soldier. So we'll just take one of our soldiers. And let's roll for that. A four as well. So he's going to go right here. And notice there's only three hospital beds and there's this waiting area spot. So the thing is, anyone that is sent out here and there's no hospital bed for them, they're actually going to go into the waiting area. And the longer they are in this waiting area, they're going to go down in health. And eventually, if they hit this bottom, they're just dead. They get sent to the morgue. It's not good. Um, okay, so we did that. Now we're going to add doubt discs. Uh, so we're at doubt level one still. So I'm going to take one of my doubt tokens and add it to the recruit bag. Give it a good shake. Now we're going to draw from this recruit bag. So we don't want to draw any of those purple tiles, okay? I mean, those purple tokens, because that's bad. That's doubt. All right, we got a soldier, so that's good. Next. We have a volunteer villager worker person. Great. So I could press my luck. There are currently three doubts in here, and there's a lot more tokens. I'm going to keep going. I'm going to keep going. Why not, right? OK, great. I got a hunter. I'm feeling good. I think I'm going to keep pushing my luck and hope for uh, no purples. Hey, hey, no purples. All right, everything's coming up Millhouse. So. These four are now going to the ready section. Oh, one thing I forgot to do, guys. Um, there's this rest area. So uh, when I send people back, I'll pull this up just so you could see. Uh, well, actually, no, we'll, we'll, we'll get to there. I, actually, I, I did this okay. Never mind. Retract that statement. Uh, yeah, this is the part where you would have busted in quacks, that's for sure. So this game has bag building, which is awesome. Uh, it's got so many things going for it. Uh, okay, so we're done right here. Uh, we are now going down this list. Move defenders from rest area to ready area. We're not doing that. Uh, 
and then we're going to spend supplies to move defenders from ready area to rest area. So we currently have one, two, three, four, five, six workers out here. So I'll get those split up so we can kind of see it on camera. Um, of those six workers, I could spend a supply, which are these yellow cubes, to move four workers from the tired area to the ready area. And it starts at four. Eventually, supplies will degrade, and they'll only do three at a time, two at a time, and one at a time. So let's spend one for sure. And we'll take one of these guys. We'll take one of these guys. Uh, I think we'll take another one of these guys and another one of the, these guys. We'll leave the volunteers here for last because they're kind of all right. Um, so now I have two remaining. So what I could choose to do is spend my last supply to move these two over and then waste the rest of the two. Or now at this point, any any number of tired people I look over here, so I have two of them, I could put at most two into this rest area. So I'm going to do that. So now for next turn, they'll be added to this supply. Uh, okay, so now we are going to move these defenders from the ready spaces to the action spaces. And I for sure want people to come back here. Um, let's see what I want to do. We want to probably open up a new supply route as well, too. So let's do that. So what that means is these supply routes over here, they don't start out with any tokens in them, but we could choose to open a new supply route to add those particular kind of tokens here. So when running these, there's more options. And since we have a lot of hunters and stuff, that's pretty good and some, a lot of soldiers. Um, so I'll keep that as is. Um, the next thing I want to do is for sure repair so let's spend two of these workers to repair i'll spend let's do another hunter we're running out and now i'm going to use this worker my commander into this bottom spot over here now this spot normally requires two workers but because he's a commander he counts as two and what he'll do is increase the morale track, which is great. We want that morale track to go up. Um, and then lastly, I got these two guys. Um, hmm. You know, this guy actually, I'm going to have him shovel. And I'm going to send out this guy to shovel. And let's send this guy out to run. I think that's what I'm going to do. Yeah. Okay, great. So we're going to carry out our actions. We're going to start over here. Open up a new supply route. So I'm going to spend these two guys. They're going to go in my tired area. And we're going to add delivery tokens to a new supply depot. So I have a choice of a couple different options. In this one, I could choose to add these tokens. See that right there? And what this is, is the patrols, I could just remove one patrol per. Uh, this one is the miss token, right? Which, if I get that, I could get miss tokens and add them to the hit bag and get that miss is that man i should have done my nails huh um and then lastly in this spot i could choose to add one of two kinds so i could do this to return um i could i could increase my morale uh or which is great morale is always great to increase or for this guy i could actually bring back a soldier so there's like a soldier hanging out there. I think that's what I want to do. So let's do that. So we'll add some new de delivery tokens to a new supply depot. So what I do is I take three of them and I add them out here. So now we have some new people we can recruit. So more workers is always good in a worker placement kind of game. Um, that's done. Defend the walls. Don't worry about this step right now. We skip that until later in the game when we actually do have to defend the walls because this game is also a tower defense and we got like the worst tower so we have to fortify our tower and then defend it we fire artillery at this point we're not going to do that uh supply run uh okay so what we're going to do is we're going to move all supply runs so this guy i'm going to have him run out he's going to go one two three four five six 
it's because it's sunny, so he can move six. Now, for these guys right here, right? Here's the thing. Because they're holding supplies at this point, they can shoot. They, they, when they move, they have a reduced movement of one because it's heavy. Except for my green guy. He's, like, strong. That's why, you know, he's got, like, this muscle right over here. Uh, there's the muscle. You see that? Little bicep over here. So, he ignores that. So let's do it. Let's let's have this guy run back. Boom, boom. He's going one, two, three, four, five. We're back. And when you come back with a with from a supply run, you send your defender into the tired area. You're gonna increase morale because it's like, hey, you're back. And then you're gonna gain two supplies plus the special supply, which in this case is a bonus supply. So we got three supplies doing that. That's awesome. Um, okay, and this is going good, but believe me, we're gonna lose probably. So, we're gonna move one, two, three, four, five. Great morale goes up. Hooray, you're back! Yeah, and he's showing his guns, um, like his you know biceps. Um, he's bringing two plus one, so we're gonna add two plus one. So, we are now at five. So, five. And then we're gonna add two more. So this is in this is the ones area, the five area, the ten. Hey Kyle, what's up? Um speaking of Barrows, we need to go over that pledge manager. Um Okay, so we're now at seven supplies, which is great. We have a lot of supplies, and we're gonna need them because supplies are gonna be very high in demand. Now we're gonna go into the maintenance phase. We'll start top to bottom. Uh, we're going to shovel snow, so this guy with the bicep is worth two workers, and this guy is just worth one. So they're going to go back to the tired area. Boop, boop. I like to stack them in like the matching colors. Uh, we're going to flip over this. So we've unlocked our first additional worker placement spot. Let me get that in camera. It's a little hard with the glare. There it is, medicine cabinet. So we're going to place out the medicine cabinet. You need to put two workers on there to activate it. Or if you got a medic token, a medic worker, they count as two. So I'm going to place that right over here. That tells you where to place it. It says medicine cabinet. It says map room and it says radio. And we're going to, when you put a worker out here, you could fully heal one patient, which is great. Um, and then you ignore relapse this turn, which is also good because relapse is when, um, you move all you you move all patients in the in the waiting area one level down. So we want to skip that. Um, now I take from the supply a medicine cabinet damage token and put it on the rightmost spot. So that's only powerful if that spot is also on. I mean, it's even more powerful once that spot is uncovered. Okay, let's repair. So we'll send these two guys out there. Um, and I think what I want to do is repair this gun to make it fully powered um and now we could inspire so this guy is worth two and we get to move the morale marker up one which is great um okay we're done with maintenance we now go to the infirmary so if there was a worker here they could treat one patient in bed which means make them up go make them go one and if it was a medic they can make that worker go up two so that doesn't happen, but because they're in beds, all of them just go one level up. Okay, so the next time they go up, they'll be fully healed, which is great. Um, okay, we're done here. Now the morale phase. So we check uh, uh, the doubt markers if there's any bonuses here. Nope. Is it a red day? It is not a red day. Are we out of supplies? Nope, we're swimming in them. Uh, Defenders in the waiting area, we got none. Per defender in the morgue, we got none. Any soldiers out here? No, we don't got to worry about that. Now, this is really cool. So we're going to, because we have such high morale, we're going to draw four high morale cards because there's high morale cards and there's low morale cards. These, are, these high morale are, for the most part, very, very good. We're going to draw four of them because we have such great morale. And resolve three of the four. So let's shuffle, shuffle. 
One, two, three, four. All right, let's see what we got first. We got this high morale card. I'll just read them and kind of point to the board. Um, we could remove one doubt token from the bag or gain one supply. And that's awesome because there's currently three in there and they all suck. Um, we can gain one supply. Okay, that's not that great. This one is move two defenders from the tired area to the ready area. So we could just automatically move two defenders right now, which is great. Uh, but we're not going to... Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll hang on. Or add two new volunteers to the recruit bag or gain one. Okay, so I think we're going to ditch the gain one. We don't need that one right now. So I'm going to put it right down under here. And for these three, we're going to go through all of these three. Uh, yeah, it, it feels like it very, it very much feels like a messy kind of thing where you're really, you're, you're really, yeah, I'll highlight the comment by Kyle. Um, the graphic design for sure has that messy, chaotic thing because during this time, these, these, uh, these defenders were like really grabbing anything and just scouring against the Germans that were going to be coming. Um, they had t it, this is all done within a 12 day span and you have soldiers, you have hunters, you have volunteers, you have a commander in there. Um, you got different people doing different roles and everything is damaged. You got to heal. You got to repair everything. Oh man. I I anything that can go wrong will go wrong in this, you know? All right. So here we're going to do move two defenders from the tired area to the ready area. So let's move this guy right there. And let's move this guy right there. Uh, let's add two new recruits to the bag and kind of make this bag a bit um, more weighted on our end. And let's remove one of the doubt tokens from the bag. So I'm getting one of the doubt tokens out. You can see here, here are the contents of the rest of the bag. So you see we have two doubt tokens. This third one is getting removed. See ya. And look at this. We got three medics over here. We have no more hunters. They're all out. We have four soldiers and one, two, three, four, five uh, volunteers. Okay. So... I will put these out right there because I need to double check. I'll double check this later, but I'm pretty sure for you always are constantly reshuffling in this one. So I'll just leave that alone for now. Um, okay, so we resolved morale. Okay, that was a great first pass for morale. Okay, um, so let's move them. So now that's done, I'm going to move the morale track back to zero uh, because every time you have to regain your morale. Uh, and then we check for surrender. We're good. Uh, check the turn track for any additional patrols. Nope. A coup. No. A retreat. A last stand. Nope. None of that. Because the coup is going to happen next turn at the end of the next round. Um, and then we're going to move the turn marker. Okay. We're about to start turn three. Um, so let's do it again. So we're going to move this weather marker down here. It's our last turn of the mobilization card. So there's five different decks of cards up here that you can kind of see peeking out. Um, there are different event cards that are going to be coming out. Um, and they this this is just the first three days are just about mobilization. The next three days are the first attack. Then the next two days are siege one. The next three days are siege two, followed by one last card of the last Stand, which is only three of them in here so it's always gonna be pretty bad um so let's carry on i'm gonna flip over the mobilization card okay it is a cloudy day you lose one morale so we're going down here which is not good because if we have low morale we're gonna be drawn from this low morale deck which sucks and we have to add a patrol to the board Oy. Man, that blows. Okay, patrol number two. So he's coming out right there. That's good. We we were trying to avoid number six because this guy has a clear way out, which is great. 
Um, okay, so patrol, that patrol's out. Um, and now we add one doubt token to the bag. Yep. Okay, we're back to three doubt uh, tokens in this bag. Okay, so a coup is going to be happening next at the end of this day, which I'll just explain the coup right now. We're going to draw X number of discs being the how high our fear is, which we're at fear five, and the highest we can get is fear six. Um, and we and get any, any uh, doubt tokens, we just redraw them. We're going to move the supply marker one step to the right, so the supplies no longer heal up four people, only heal up three people. We're going to place one defender on each defense position, not covered by a damage tile. There's currently only one. We want all of these uncovered so we could start defending our board. Uh, we're gonna take, uh, oh, by the way, the recruits that we draw from this bag, that uh, five are just gone from the game. They go back to this reserve. And there's a very good chance we're just not gonna get them. Um, so anyways, we're gonna place one defender on each defense tile over here. We're going to take the, these defenders from the tired area, rest or ready area, and if you place three to four soldiers, you receive one or two morale. So we want to open this area up now, uh, and then we flip over to the mobilization board. So at this point, we're going to start defending, and we want a lot of soldiers out there. All right, so let's draw. Okay, no purples, no purples, no purples. Okay, we got a medic, first medic. All right, and okay, we got a volunteer. I'm going to keep going because, right, I feel like we're, we're all having good luck today. Why did I say that? Okay, great. Two medics. All right, here we go. Here we go. <sighs> okay, I drew my doubt token. So, doubt sucks. Um... What's going to happen now, because I drew my doubt token, is I'm only taking one of these guys. These, the two, uh, the other two are just gone back into the reserve. So let's take the medic, because we have the medicine cabinet open. So that's always good. And this doubt token goes back into the bag. Yeah, that's true. I'm glad you're not here for our drawing. Uh, for your quack skills of drawing tokens out of a bag. Um, skills is in parentheses. I mean, not parentheses. Well, you know, words. They're hard, right, Dan? Um, they're in quotes. They're in air quotes. Okay. So let's move down the list. Move defenders from rest to ready. Yeah, we have these two guys just resting. Skills. Okay. Now, we want these guys to come over. So remember, we could spend a supply to return four. So let's do that. One, two, three, four. I want everyone for this time. So we only have three left. So I'm going to spend my la uh, another supply and bring three of four back. So we have as many people on hand because we want to repair as much as possible. Okay. Um. Now we're only we have five row supplies though we're still okay, um, yeah, okay, good. So let's move on out. Hmm. All right. So I like the idea of repairing as much as possible. So let's repair and repair and repair. We want all of this open. So repair. Repair, repair. We're going to do these three repairs for sure. So, uh, you know, and, and there's no limit to the number of workers you could put out here. Um, it's it's just, you know, for every two, you get to do that action. Okay. So now, let's see who else I got. Got my commander. So, I could 
bring the fear token down with my commander to four. So we only use four people as opposed to five. I think that's good. We could dig, oh, I have to reset this. We could dig up some snow for sure. Dig up some snow. Uh, so I'm putting two of these uh, bulky guys out there. I still got my medic. It's not really going to do much, though. You know what? I'm going to actually make him repair. Because these guys are going to auto-heal. We're okay there. They're in bed long enough. Um, I do want to run out there. And one, two, three, four, five. So this guy is able to run. One, two, three, four, five. And stop there. This guy is not going to be able to make it back in time. One, two, three, four. He's going to stop over here, which is not good. Um, so what I'll do is I will use these last two. What else can I repair? Ignore relapse this turn. I don't need that. There's not really much else to repair. Maybe I spend these last two. So a couple options, right? Help me out. Uh, think about this. We can reduce the fear from five to four or five to three if i spend these two guys which means we only lose three people from this bag uh we could use these guys to repair or dig out snow because the thing is right now we're at snow level of four uh digging level of four and if we put out these two guys what hey daniel hey uh if we put these last two guys over here to shovel out some snow that means we'll reveal two of these guys, which is also good. So we can either spend these last two guys to reveal two of these, or we could spend these two guys to lower the fear level from uh, down to three as opposed to four. Let's see. I think I always like going through this, though. It's like the you know, flipping over. I'm just going to do that. We're just going to do that. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Final answer. We're going to just dig some uh, some snow out. All right. Let's carry this out. We'll start with the negotiate action. So we'll slide this down from a five to a four. Goes into the tired. Um, and the walls doesn't happen yet. Fire artillery doesn't happen right now. The supply run. So this guy's going to run out. One, two, three, four. He can only move out to a max of five, but because he's carrying this, his movement is reduced by one to four. This guy is going to run out, though. One, two, three, four, five. Pick that up. Oh, I forgot to find ways to increase morale. Okay. Well, we'll see how that goes. Um, we're done there. Maintenance. So let's dig. So we'll dig with this guy. And this guy, one, two, and three. One, two, three. We're going to flip over this tile. And we got hidden tools. I could repair one damage tile or add one miss. Well, the good news is I'm about to repair three of these four damage tiles. So I think for now, I'm just going to add one miss to the bag. Because misses are always good to the hit bag. The more misses in there, the less you need to worry about repairing. Okay, this resets to three, and we're going to do it again. One, two, and three. Boom, boom. Flip this over. Oh, hey, look at that. Don't got to worry about morale because, you see that? Oh, man. Plus two morale. I found a generator, guys. Cool. All right. That actually worked in our favor, being negligent. Uh, great. So now let's repair two, four, and six. So I'll move all these guys over. You go over, and you go over. Um, and we're going to repair three things. So of course, I want to do these three so we can really fill this out. It's always good to defend the walls. Grammar all around. Yeah, right? Uh, okay. Infirmary. Uh, so no one's... No, no no, actions here, but we are going to recover these guys. So this guy and this guy are healed, and they go into the ready area as opposed to the tired area because they're ready. 
Um, and now we're going to move on to the morale phase. So we check the doubt track if there's any bonuses. Nope, it's not a red day. We're not out of supplies. There's no defenders in the waiting area. There's no defenders in the morgue and no soldiers. Uh, the German soldiers are out yet. So we're okay there. So now this one, we're going to draw two high morale cards and resolve one. Okay. So I'm going to shuffle all but the three I drew before. One, two, three. We're drawing two of these and resolving only one. So let's see. These are always good. Remove one patrol, one patrol from the map. That's cool. Or lower the suspicion by two. The suspicion's at one, and we can only lower down uh, one step, and this is lower two, so that's not going to help us. So let's remove one uh, soldier from the patrol from the map. So what I'll do is I will actually remove. Let's remove this guy. Doesn't really matter for now, but he gets added to the bag. Um, this gets reset to zero. Check for surrender. We're good. Now we're going to add two patrols back out. We're flying through this. We're, we're about to end turn three. Uh, okay. So, flipping this over. Spot number three. Flip this over. Spot number one. Oh, no. Okay. So this soldier is getting blocked by this guy. So we could try sneaking past him, or we could try taking him out and fighting him. Uh, what does digging the snow do again? Great question. So, um, and I got to reset this to the three. There's going to be additional work replacement spots that come out, like this medicine cabinet. And we got that from digging for the, through the snow. You can also get different bonuses up. So digging through the snow is effectively finding things, uh, f finding different resources that could help you out. Like I found steel plates, I found a generator, I found hidden tools, I found a medicine cabinet. So it makes our tower uh, a lot more appealing. It gives us more worker placement spots, which is great. We always want wor more worker placement spots, and they're always more powerful actions. Um, so that's what we, what we want with that. Okay, so we added those patrols. Now we perform our coup. So we're going to draw four discs from this bag. And these four are running away. So this guy is gone. This guy is gone. This guy is gone. Okay, so we got three blues out. This guy is gone. Ah, and a medic. Okay. So I think it's all the medics too. Because we lost two and there's one over here and i believe there's only three in the game all right we perform that step of the coup now we move the supply marker one step to the right so our supplies no longer heal up four people at a time they only heal up three people at a time we're going to place one defender on each defensive position not covered by a damage tile take these defenders from the tired area rest or ready areas if you place three out of four soldiers you receive one or two bonuses so let's do that let's do one two three now i could do my fourth one from the ready area and get two morale or i could take one of these guys uh maybe i maybe i do that maybe i yeah you know what i'll take that and you know what? i'm gonna do it like this i i have a f i forget what order they attack they attack in a specific order i think they attack from left to right so i'll put that guy over there so we'll only get one morale boost, which is okay. Um, and then we flip the mobilization board. So this whole board gets flipped, and more things are going to happen. Because now we are in the second phase of the game. Uh, okay. Okay. So we are in the first attack phase right now, which means all these uh, German soldiers may be coming out. So let's reset everything. Move the weather marker back. We did that. OK. Let's go on to the first attack. We're going to resolve this card. 
All right, it's a sunny day, so people can run faster. Increase suspicion by two and add one patrol. Okay, so we're gonna add one patrol. Number six. So right over here, blocking, of course, the one that gives us additional soldiers. Oh, let's carry down the, the rest of this board. We're going to now draw from the recruit bag. So we don't add doubt tokens this time. We're all done with our doubt tokens. There's only three of them in here. There's not many tokens in here, though, too. So we definitely want to just keep going until we get two. So we got one. We got two. So options. I could choose to push my luck and keep going. There's three Dow tokens in here. And I feel like there's either six or seven. There's six. To so I got a 50-50 chance, right, of messing up. So maybe I, I don't. Hmm. I don't want to keep losing people. Uh, and for the next three turns, I'm going to be drawing stuff. Hey, hey, what up? What up? What up? So I think I'm going to stop drawing. I'll be, I'll be safe this time. I'll just keep these two guys. This guy comes with a supply, which is great. Um, and he would only come with a supply if no doubt happened. So he comes with a supply. And now we are going to... Uh, add German infantry meeples to the board. And the card said, we're adding five. You can see five over there. There it is, five. So normally on stream, I like to have like these kinds of tokens standing up so you can kind of see, I mean, uh, laying down so you can see, but there's actually different mechanics based on they're standing up or, or laying down. If they're laying down, that means they're suppressed. And if they're standing up, that means they are not suppressed. So we're going to add five of them down into sector one. So we're going to perform an infantry attack, which is uh, not good. Uh, we, draw, we roll one die per max of five dice we're, we're rolling because... Uh, at most, we could only activate five people in here. That's what this little number indicates. It might be a little hard to see unless you're on full screen. But we're going to roll these dice and see what happens. Okay, so I got a two, two threes, a four, and a six. So how this works is like this. This spot here is the move area, and this is the hit area. So what's going to happen is... Three and fours are going to go here. So it's three of them. The twos are nothing, but the fives and sixes are hits. So we're going to put a hit right there. We'll put this guy right here. Okay, so we're going to ignore one hit per defense. And our defense is at zero. So we are going to get a hit. I should have increased defense. Forgot all about that. Um, that's okay. We'll do it next time. Uh, so we're going to get this guy to get hit first. And he's going, oh my gosh. He's, I rolled a two, so he's so low on our hospital bed. Okay. Well, good thing we got a medic to fully heal him. Um, the move action's going to happen next. So all these guys that are moving are going to go up to sector two. So sector two has better odds with movement and with hitting, and they can actually charge out too if they're in this spot, which is bad. Yeah. Um, now, the thing is, they're in this red area, and remember when I said if there's any uh, soldiers in the red areas, we're going to lose one. Not per, if there's any, we're going to lose one. So if, th if these guys are not gone, then we're, we might be in trouble. Uh, okay, so those guys are there. We're done with that step. Let's keep on going down that list. Uh, we're going to move defenders from rest to ready. We got none in the rest area. Uh, let's see. I'm going to spend one supply. We'll move my commander. We'll move one of these guys and one of these guys because we love these guys for digging. 
uh, the snow tiles out. Those are always fun. And they're going to be very fast this turn. So that's cool. Um, I could spend... Yeah, you know what? I'm going to do that. I'm going to spend another supply. So we're down to four supplies now to bring three people out. So let's bring in these three. And this guy's going to rest. So next turn, he's automatically a ready uh, meeple. Uh, worker. Defender. Defender is the term for the workers in this. Um, okay, so now let's carry out different actions. And we are flying in this game. Okay, let me do that. Okay, for sure, we're going to put my me the medic out to fully heal this guy. Because the more people we have, the better. So that's good. We want to repair. For sure, so I'll do that there. We want to increase our defense, as you can see, right? Um, so let's do that. Let's move. Let's put these guys over here to defend. And uh, I got to waste that guy to defend. That's fine. This guy will defend. This guy will defend. I mean, sorry, this guy will shovel snow and this guy will shovel snow. Yeah. Okay. And then my... Uh, Commander, I think the only thing I'm going to do is inspire with him so we can move the morale track up one, uh, which was, I believe this was at zero. So let me just leave it at zero. Uh, no, no, it, it was up at one because we put those guys over there. Um, okay, let's keep this going. Um, so... Nothing. Oh, but you know what? I got to shoot these guys. Okay, hang on. Got to think. Don't carry out any actions yet. I, ugh, okay. Um. So if I put two people out on here, we'll do some damage to them. I think that's what we want to do. And they have to be soldiers. So let's do that. These two soldiers will go out here to deal damage. So per target that's visible, we're going to deal damage to these guys. And then I got to check, of course, if the gun jammed, because there's a mechanic for that, too, in this game. Um, okay, so, yeah, this this is okay. I'll, I'll deal with this. Okay, defend the walls, nothing. Fire artillery. Let's do it. Hit two per revealed. So we're just going to go one, two, three. Oh, and this guy comes back. Uh, and four. So four of them are gone. Now I need to check if uh, if if our gun jams. So that part sucks. Um, so I believe I need to double check this part. When I resolve a gun jam, actually, the rule book is actually very solid too. If you if, if this game seems like a little worry, uh, the rule book is actually very very straightforward. Um, so let's check for a gun jam. Uh, roll a six-sided die. If the result is lower than the hit criteria shown in the targeted sector, you must flip the rightmost revealed status tile. So, fire gun one at sector two. Um, choose one per gun. Oh, you know what? I couldn't have taken out this additional guy because you can only shoot per sector. That makes sense now. Okay, that's what I want to look up because I, I, I spread them per sector. So now... Uh, was it Kickstarter only? I don't... I, I believe it was on Kickstarter, and then they had a second print run happen. Um, yeah. Uh, I, I, I believe this, the... Oh, put that back in the deck. We want that. The I believe they're doing the second print run right now, and they're delivering it this month. Um, but this came out last year. Uh, so, okay. I'm going to roll two dice because I did two different sectors. And if it's lower than a four, because it, I, I shot up so close, if it's lower than a four, um, the gun will jam. So, yeah, of course. I got a two and a three. So how does gun jam resolve? You start from the rightmost spot, and you flip this tile over. That's jammed. That's jammed. So now the next time I fire gun one, I can only resolve one target as opposed to two targets. Okay, those guys are done. 
now we resolve this phase. So this guy's running back for, oh, you know what? We're going to have this guy run first. And here's why. When this guy run, returns back, we're going to increase suspicion, which makes it hard to sneak around. And we don't want that. And I rarely sneaked around in my last couple of games. So it's actually really exciting. We're going to sneak around today. Um, so my defender's moving. And he's carrying an item, which means his movement changes from six to five. So we're going to go one. Now he's in the patrol area. I could choose uh, the same area as a patrol. So I could choose a couple things. The first, I could stop my movement. And then I just reduce the suspicion level from three to two. Like quiet, you know, s stealthy. Suspicion's at three, though. Okay. So I could sneak around him. I could roll a six sided die to perform a suspicion check. If the result is higher than three, I continue my movement and increase the suspicion marker by one. And if the result is equal to or lower than the current suspicion level, I return the defender to the reserve and one German patrol token to the patrol bag. I reduce the suspicion marker by two. So, hmm. So it's like he died, which is not good. And then I lose that token too. How you feeling? You feel like we could sneak past them? The other option is, is because he's a soldier, I have the option to fight that guy too. So I can end the movement for this round and return one German patrol to the patrol bag or one German artillery piece to the artillery track, right? Roll a six-sided die to perform the suspicion. Now, you know what? I'm going to sneak past them. I want to sneak past them. I just need to roll... Higher than a three. I got a six. Yeah, buddy. Okay, cool. Suspicion increases. We're now at suspicion four, and I could continue my movement. Boom, boom, boom. Hey, he's back. All right. So, morale is increased. Suspicion is increased. I receive two supply tokens. So, for six now, plus the bonus, which is another supply. Okay. And now this guy is going to come back. So, same thing, increase the morale, uh increase the suspicion, and if I go higher than this, the suspicion resets back to 3 and I add a patrol to the board, which is also not good. But, you know what? I'm going to get I'm going to get um two supplies and a special which in this case the special is a soldier that's great um and when i get the soldier does he go in the ready i'm assuming he's going to go in the tired because he was probably running along with them too you know um he was going in nope he's not tired he's actually ready for business great uh okay cool so that's exciting. Uh, we got a lot of good runs going on there. Now let's continue maintenance. So we're going to do the, the the shovel snow phase. So one, two, three. Flip this over. Hey, we found the map room. All right, cool. So the map room is a new worker spot, and it's good for the uh, the the villagers. So we get to look at the at the uh, we get to look at and rearrange the top three snow tiles. So that's cool. And if this spot is uncovered, we get to move the snow marker two times to the left. So it's like digging up more spots. So that's great. So I'm going to put the map room right there. But of course, that second bonus is covered up by a damage token. So we could choose to repair it. That would be good too. Um, okay. And then this gets set back to three. And we're not done with our, our snow shoveling. We had a snow shovel of four, so we're back down there. Okay, these guys are done. Okay, so I could remove one damage tile, or I could unjam one status tile. Hmm. <laughs> uh, let's see. So if I repair the medicine cabinet, I could ignore relapse this turn, but I don't need to worry about that. I think. 
uncovering the map room is going to be important because then I can move the snow marker two spots to the left. Yeah, let's do that. But the gun jam is good too. Yeah, you know what? Whatever. Let's make the map room more exciting. Go down to the hit bag. These guys are done. Uh, next, we're going to bolster. So I could add a missed tile to the bag or increase defense to one, which we're going to do. Defense is now at one. And we're going to inspire. We're going to move the morale track up one. So the morale track can't actually go higher. So what happens is when you do that, any additional morale adds one hope card to the low morale deck. So the low morale deck is going to get a hope card, which is a great card to have in the low morale deck. So I'm going to add that in, give it a shuffle, two and three. This guy goes back. OK, uh, now the medic is going to fully heal this patient. So boom, we got more people. Great, we're done there. Um, now the morale phase is going to happen. Uh, we check the doubt marker spot, which that's not here. So. Is it a red day? No. We out of supplies. No. Defenders in the waiting room? No. Defender in the morgue? No. Any guys in the sector, the red sector? No. Okay, great. So now we're going to draw four high morale cards. Uh-oh. I drew the the discard pile. Let me do that. change that up. So the discard pile doesn't get shuffled back in until we're done. One, two, three, four. And one more. One, two, three, four. Drawing four, resolving three. We're in the first attack, so now we only we resolve still this top area. We can add one miss to the hit bag. That's great. We can add one miss to the hit bag. Okay, um, deja vu. We can move the snow marker two steps to the left, which means we'd unlock something. That's also exciting. Move two defenders from the tired area to the ready area. Also good. So let's do that. So first, let's move to uh, the snow marker two steps to the left. Oh, and we uncovered gun two. So that's right. We could actually have two guns now and make our gun actions a lot more powerful. So let me add the additional gun out. So I'm going to do this right there. I'm going to do that right there. I'm going to do this right there, and I'm going to do this, and this, and lastly, this. So now when we take the gun action, we actually fire both guns, uh, which is really exciting. Okay, that was a good good one. Um, we are going to move two defenders from the tired area to the ready area, so for sure you... And we need the soldiers, so let's do that. Um, and then we'll add one miss to the hit bag. Cool. This is exciting stuff. So there's a lot of similarities with this game and Robinson Crusoe. So if you like Robinson Crusoe, it's worth checking out. Let's reset morale back to zero. No surrender right now. We're okay. Uh, check the turn track for any additional patrols. Any coup retreat last day? Nope, none of that. Move the turn marker. Turn marker. F turn five about to start. Okay. Um, so let's carry out the rest of the phase. So the first thing we do, move the weather marker back to the center. And let's resolve this event card, which is, it's a sunny day, okay? Um, remove one delivery token from each of the leftmost two open supply depots. Okay, so this one gets removed. That sucks. Okay. Let's draw from the bag. Drawing one. Of course, it's a doubt. Drawing another. Okay, it's a doubt again. So what happens is 
You can only resolve one doubt, so we're okay still. Um, drawing another. Okay, it's a soldier. So these guys, these doubt tokens go back in the bag. The soldier goes into the ready area. And we're going to add four infantry out to the board. So there's only there's two infantry down here in sector one. And you can only have max of five per sector. So we're going to add three here. One, two, three, and then one over here. That sucks. Okay, so let's roll for these. Do we do that now? Yeah, we do that now, don't we? Yep. Perform the attack. We're going to roll for these five infantry right here. Okay. Oh, wow. Okay, great. A lot of low numbers. That's great. So ones and twos do nothing. A five is a hit, though. So I'm going to do this. And now this guy is going to roll. We want him to roll a one. Okay, he got a two. Because, of course, he did. Two. All right. So let's resolve the hits. Ignore one hit per defense. Injure one defender per hit. So we only have one hit happen, so we're okay there. Um, now the moves. Move up to the next sector. This guy is moving up into the charge spot. Injure the leftmost defender in a defensive position and place this guy back in the reserve. So here we go. Oh, man, I completely forgot to do this. I'll have to remember it for next time. For this time, rather. Uh, I, I, I could start firing these guys at the Germans. Okay, so a five happens. So this guy is in hospital bed number five, which is great. He'll just heal up. It's like, whatever, man. Okay, uh, we're done there. So now what we're going to do is carry on. And go into the morning phase. So we are moving this guy from the rest over here. Okay, so we got two of these guys. So now we have a total of 10 people that are tired. And every supply we spend brings back three. And we don't really need the medic right now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to spend three. And we're going to slide these guys over. And these guys over, and these guys over, and this guy's just going to go into the rest area. Okay. Yeah, I'm cool with this. So now let's carry out the different actions. Um, so first, I'm putting soldiers back out here, because I need to defend. And I'll show you what I missed. I forgot to do the suppress and the hit action in the defensive positions. Um, so, that's important. Um, now, let's keep it going. Hmm. We don't need to... Well, we could promote... We have one soldier left in the reserve, so we could bring that one soldier out. And... That would be good, but we could also, hmm, yeah, okay, let's do this. Let's put these guys over here to fire. Even though it's going to shoot one, I could actually use that shot to take out this guy, which would be great, because then we have an open spot over here to get that soldier. We'll increase them, we'll bump up the morale track. Um... We will repair that. Oh, we'll do the map room. We'll repair the gun. <coughs> Actually, you know, I think. Yeah, we'll repair the gun. We'll send out this soldier out to run that way. Um, oh, you know what? No, we'll send out this guy to run that way. Um. And then we want to increase, we should increase our defense as well, because it's just going to get harder. Um, these last two soldiers, 
what do we want to do with you? Yeah, I think what we want to do with you is just increase our defense. Oh, you know what? No. Let's repair again. Because if we repair this gun, that's great for us, too. Yeah. Okay, let's do that. Ah, oh, but the... Def yeah, you know what? Yep, doing it. Done. All right, let's defend the walls. So I forgot to do this last turn. I'm doing it now. You roll one die per defender. Now, the different type of defender is going to have different range, okay? The soldiers can shoot in this spot and this spot. Uh, the, uh, like the, the villagers, they can only attack in this spot. Same with the hunters, they can only attack in this spot. And the commander can, can attack in this spot or this spot. So it tells you right over here their hit range. So I'm rolling just four dice and we're going for this sector. Wow. Wow. Okay. Uh, I rolled a four, a five, a five, and a five, which is a hit, a hit, a hit, and a hit. So boom, boom. Boom, boom. Bah, 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 bah. Done. Cool. We're defended. Great. Uh, over here. Uh, let us now remove this guy so we can make his run a lot easier. Which is great. Um, and now we have to check if the gun jammed. Because, of course. Um, so I got to roll a die. If I... I need a six. So, uh, come on, six. Wow! Get out of here! Okay, cool. The gun did not jam. Um, that was crazy. Uh, okay, we're gonna run. One, two, three, four, five, six. Picking up this soldier. Boom. Hey, what's up, buddy? Okay, great. Um, now we're gonna put these guys out here. We're gonna increase our defense from one to two. Um, let's repair. So we'll use these guys. Boom. Boom. Man, we are flying. I told you never won this one, though. Um, so we're, we're repairing three. So I'm going to repair gun number two. And we add these all to hit bag. I'm not playing a lot of tonight. My luck is only here. Um, we're increasing our morale. Great. This guy is healed up. Boom. He's ready for action. Oh, I forgot to do map room guy. Look at the top three and rearrange. So what we got here, water, which gives us a supply and a morale boost. New supplies gives us new supplies. Ooh, counter patrol is going to be this spot right here. I can remove. Oh, this is cool. I can remove a patrol and reduce the suspicion by two. That's really nice. I'm going to. Keep that one up top. Um, oh, wait. Let me look at the other two. I will keep that one up top. Yeah, let's keep it that way. Where new supplies and then water. Okay, great. Okay. It's a party over there. Um, all right, morale. So, red day. No out of supplies. No defenders in waiting. No... Defender and Morgue, no. Um, any in red sectors? Nope. The morale track, yes. We're going to draw two high morale cards. We're going to resolve one. One, two, three, four, five. Let's see what we got. Ready? We can either lower the suspicion by two levels, which is great because we're very high in suspicion, or we could repair one damage tile. Hmm. Also good, but the only one we'd be repairing is the medicine cabinet, and we don't need that right now. So let's just lower the morale by two. Great. So it's not so bad anymore. Morale was six, now it's at four. I mean, my suspicion was at six, it's now at four. Uh, we're not surrendering. We're good there. Now we're going to check the turn track for patrols. And we're adding three to the bag. I mean, from the bag. And they go into this row now. Number five. 
Number six? Oh, no. We're totally blocked in. Number four. Wow, look at that. They're all just closing in on my one guy over here. Um, that sucks. Okay, well, that's done. Um, no coup, no retreat, no last stand. Move the turn marker. So now we're in our first red day. It's turn six of 11. Um, and it's going to get real bad. So let's start this up. Reset that. We're going to flip over the first attack card. Okay, it's a cloudy day, so it stays as is. Injure two defenders, and we start with the ones over here. So it's the blue ones. Might be hard to see, but it's the blue ones. So the, you know, our standard villagers. So I'm going to roll two dice, and this is where they're going to go. Bed number three, bed number five. So three and five. Move the artillery marker one step to the right. Okay. So when this marker goes to this right and touches this, we're going to add one of these to the board, which is not good. Um, let's recruit people. Doubt, of course. Okay, a soldier. I'll take it. And we're adding three... German meeples to the board. And they're going to fire. So four of them are rolling. Here we go. Okay. I did not want to roll high, and I rolled high. Two are moving, and two are hitting. Okay. So we resolve the hits. Uh, ignore one hit per defense. We're at defense, too, so we're great. Um, move these guys, of course. They moved up there. Um, okay, so that has been resolved. Let us move on to the next step. So this guy's going to slide over. I have six supplies, and I have a total of three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten people in here. So let's let's bring as many people as we can because it's always important to bring as many people as you can. So we have six supplies. We're going to spend three of them. So we're now at three supplies. And I'm going to bring everyone but one villager. And then this villager is going to rest. All right. We have a ton of soldiers. A ton out there. We could start blasting them with those guns. It's great. We could use the map room for you. Um, our medic can do a heal. Um, let's see. We'll do the inspire actions and move the morale up. We'll use these two guys to increase uh, the defense. We'll do some repairs of the guns. And then we'll shovel some snow. All right. I'm feeling good. Here we go. Defend the walls. Rolling four dice. Bump, 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 bump. All right. So a one is a suppress. Five, six, and six. So how are we going to do this? Uh, you know what? I need to double check who gets hit first because this is important. Oh, you know what? Hang on. I think I needed to do one at a time. I don't think I could do all four. That's why. Uh, I need to resolve one at a time. So, yeah. My bad. Let's re-roll. Make pretend that didn't happen. Let's start with this guy. He's going to hit one of these guys. Okay, it's a two. So, suppress. This guy's going to go. It's a two. It's a suppress. Oh, that's awful. Um... Because I want these guys gone. Uh, I think I could hit a suppress guy. Now, you know what? Yeah. Yeah, it's important to get rid of those guys. So let's do it again. 
<coughs> sorry. Six. All right, removed. Three. So let's just suppress it. Okay. Now, next step, fire artillery. Uh, choose one per gun. So this gun, we could use to knock out that guy. And then this gun, we can choose to knock out these guys. I think that's going to be good. Um, but you know what? Mm. Yeah, that makes sense. Let's do that. Here we go. Uh, lower suspicion. Yeah. Uh, wait, why lower suspicion? Just in general, I should? Um, okay, let's do this. So this guy is going to use this gun to go... Blah, and this guy is going to use this gun to shoot this guy and this guy. And now, I have to roll per gun, resolve a jam check. Let's check with this one right over here. A one. So this is jammed. And now for over here, this is level five. So here we go. A six. We're good. Um, so gun two is okay. It's just gun one that's messing us up. Uh, supply run. This guy's running back. One, two, three, four, five. He's going to stop there. And remember, his movement is not reduced because he's like a hunter dude. Uh, he's very strong. It's shoveling snow. So let's start. Yeah, let's, let's do... Mm, Yeah, I think. Hmm. Yeah, let's let's just let's just keep it as is. We'll do this guy first. One, two. We'll repair. Uh, for repairing, uh, let's unjam these guns. Let's increase defense to max of three now, which is nice. Um, and then let's inspire. Let's increase the morale marker. Okay, now, oh man. Okay, I totally wasn't going to put this guy here. He, well, you know what? Same difference. It actually works out okay. Oh, I forgot to do this. Never mind. Hang on. Look at the top three and rearrange. So. Um, yeah, I'll keep it as is. One, two. So we have our counter patrol. And this guy is going to get added right over there. Um, this guy goes away. Okay, so now this happens. So I meant to put him over here, but it actually doesn't matter in this case. Because I put him over here, he goes up twice. And then they heal. Or... I put him over here, he just heals, and then this guy goes up and heals. So same difference. So I'll just play it as this. Boom, boom, and then boom. Okay. Morale modifiers. No one in here. It is a red day, so morale goes down. We're not out of supplies yet, which is good. Um. So we're okay here. Everything else is okay. Morale doesn't happen. No surrender right now. Check the turn track for retreat. Okay. Place one uh, of these bad boys on each base marked with an artillery symbol. Oh, I see. Um, so one's going here. One's going here. One's going here. One's going here. Uh, one is going here, and one is going here. Okay, got more guns out. This is not going to be good. Um, game's going to get a lot harder now. 
Uh, move the supply marker one step to the right and lower defense by one. So now each supply only heals up two people. Defense is now at two. Remove the first attack board from the main board. Move any patrol uh, infantry, you know, these meeples, from the first attack board to sector one on the main board. Oh, man. Now, now we're cooking. Place one status tile on the machine gun action space tile. This guy. So now there's a machine gun over here, which is exciting. Uh, okay. So now that's done. We're moving on to Siege 1. Okay. Uh, oh, Night Eddie. Yeah, this is a great game. Um, pick it up if you can, if you, especially like solo. And man, you know what's really nice about this game, right? Good box size, but even better box depth. This is tiny. Here, I'll compare this to a that's so clever box. Look how tiny look how much space there is with this box. You could fit that in so nicely. Sorry. I like to sell this game because it is a good game. Um that deserves it. Okay, so now that's done. Uh, let's move on to the next step. Bum, bum, bum. This gets back to reset. Siege one card. Okay, we're going to add one of these artillery tokens. I'm working on the words, Dan, okay, um, to the hit bag. Okay, now we're going to resolve airstrikes. So we're going to add the top left most stack of air tiles to the hit bag. And now the hit bag is really going to come into action. So draw tiles from the hit bag equal to the highest revealed number not covered by an artillery piece, which is eight. Oh my gosh. Is that right? I'm pretty sure that's right. And I'm pretty sure I'm about to get boned. Um, unless I screwed something up. But I'm pretty sure I'm getting boned right now. Uh, place one on each space marked with... Oh, on the yellow row of the map. Okay. Woo! Yep, I did mess up. We These guys aren't going to place that yet. Thank goodness. Okay. So it's a four that comes up. Ooh, got to work on that reading. All right. Um, so only these guys from the yellow spot of the map are coming out. Here we go. Revealing five. We got, oh man, we got to add one to the board. Do we, and I think these just get resolved like right after. Oh, okay. So, uh, draw the number of tiles indicated by the effect. After all the tiles are drawn, group the tiles together. Okay, good. So, we're not doing it just yet. So, one, two, of course, three, of course, four, and five. Wow, I got no misses. So, resolve the damage tiles first. So, gun one is getting damaged. So now it's just covered up and re-damaged again. The map room is getting damaged. The defense spots are getting damaged. And the guys on here are going to get damaged. So defense spot A is getting hit. And i got to roll a die for where he's going to go. Uh, where's the dice? Where are the dice? There's like five of them in this game. Oh, there they all are. Messing everything up. Uh, okay. I believe the game was like that. A two. That sucks. Uh, okay. And then the fence, number, letter C. And you're going to go spot number five. Okay. That's not too bad. Um, okay. Now that that's done, this guy is going to add one out. Uh, move the 
move the artillery marker one space to the right. So that gets moved to the right. That's what happens. And if it reaches a, a, a piece, it gets added to the board. So we're okay. This is moves to the right, and this gets added back into the bag. So that's not good. Okay. So I got to take those out. Which, to take them out, you could actually take them out by sending soldiers out in there to take them out. Or you could shoot them. Um, all right. So that is resolved. Now we got to keep going down the list. Uh, we're going to add the infantry to the board. We're adding four of them to the board. One, two, three, four. We're going to roll some dice now. They're going to attack. So this sector attacks first. They're rolling four dice as opposed to five because one guy was suppressed last turn. Okay. We got a... Nothing for twos, but we got two fours and a five. So these three are going to be moving forward. And this guy is going to stand up. This guy has a one, which means he stays as is, too. That's good. Um, we're going to resolve any hits. Nope. Uh, moves happen. By the way, there's grenades now, too. So grenades are this area over here if you get a two or a two and a three and if you and if uh, you roll when you roll grenades if two plus grenades are rolled so if there's only if there's two or more grenades rolled you lower the defense by one not good oh boy okay here we go um so that sucked uh let's move this guy to ready Remember, our supplies now only heal two people at a time. We have a total of three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve people in the tired. And we can only heal six of them. Oh, boy. Yeah. Now it's getting hard. All right. I'll spend all three supplies. And we're bringing one of these guys. One of and my commander and we're going to bring a medic for sure that's three and then we're going to bring three soldiers because they're very important to have okay that's good there now i could choose two of these guys to rest so let's rest just two of these soldiers these guys remain tired and notice now for the rest of the game i don't add any more workers this is it this is all i got left for this game um okay so let's use them uh, okay okay so for sure we're going to heal for sure we're going to repair so repair repair for sure we're going to have to shoot and Oh, you know what? Let's put you over here so we can use the map room. And then I got this guy again. Um, so there's a spot over here, too, called Reckless Defense. And I could choose to hit two of these guys and then injure that defender. It's like I run in and just do some damage. And then we have the machine gun as well, too. Um... So, A, B, or C can instead use the machine gun. If it, so this guy, this guy, this guy can use the machine gun instead if it is unjammed. Flip to jam side after use. So when attacking, I choose, I could choose to use the machine gun. And that would suppress three guys or hit three guys. So very good. And I could also spend supplies to get plus two on a die, which currently I have no supplies. And that's not good. I need supplies. Well, this guy's coming back with supplies, which is good. I need supplies. Crap. Crap, crap, crap. Um, hmm. This is going to be interesting. I need supplies. I need to do a lot of stuff. What does this do again? Minus two suspicion. I don't really care about suspicion right now. Oh, man. This is rough. Uh, okay. 
let's just increase morale I think it's gonna help because we could draw these cards and they will always help us we want that all right we're good let's do it um, this guy's gonna roll first and he's just gonna use a regular gun all right he got a two so a two is a suppress so let's suppress this guy and then this guy could choose to use the machine gun um, I think we should because why not we could repair it okay I got a five so three are hit boom take him out but this gets jammed no problem um, okay now we're gonna go into the fire artillery phase so We want to get these guys off the board for sure because they're doing a lot of damage. Um, so we can get all three of them off with this firing. I think that's the right call. Yeah, that is the right call. So let's do that. So one, two, three. So we're going to go one, two. And I had this happen before. Where what happens when the red cube's there? You just slide it over. Three. Um, okay, that's great. Now I gotta check for gun jams. So they were all in the same row. So I need a fiver. I need uh, I need higher than a five. Don't jam. Okay. Don't jam. Wow. Okay. Jam and jam. Not cool. Uh supply run. This guy comes back. Hey. Uh, we increase morale, we increase suspicion. He brings back two supplies, which is great because we would lose morale if we had no supplies. And a special, he comes back with a ready soldier. What? Oh my goodness. Okay. Uh, just when I thought I had no more people. So let's repair everything. Let's repair this map room first, and let's repair. Defense position A. Because we want more people on the walls to help us. And then map room's going to happen. Look at the top three, and then we can rearrange. Um, okay, so we have the field telephone, which goes over here. And what that does is you get plus one on each. You, if I put my commander there, I get plus one on each die, and I could suppress two people. I think that's great. I think I'm going to do that. I'm going to keep that up there. Let me move this two to the left. So, snow marker, by the way, will move to the right if it snows, right? So, um, which every card is like the, you know, oh, crap, which it should have, which it should have. I forgot that part, see? So, the last card we played, it snowed. So, it's actually one to four, and this moves back one. So, okay, that's fine. It's it didn't affect our turn, but that's the first time we actually drew that. So snow sucks. Uh, this guy's going back, and we're gonna increase morale up by one. Okay, medicine cabinet. We're gonna fully heal this patient. Boom and boom. So you go there. You go there. This guy comes up. He goes there. Okay, we got three soldiers here. That's great. Um, morale. Red day, no. Out of supplies, no. Defenders in waiting area, nope. Per defender morgue, nope. People in the red sector, nope. Okay, we're doing great. Draw three high morale cards, resolve two. These are always good, two, three, four, five. One, two, three. Okay, we're resolving siege one now. Add one new soldier to the tired area. Well, we're out of soldiers. Remove two patrol from the map. Okay, that's cool. Remove two defenders from the tired area to the ready area. Okay, I could oh, I could do that. Let's do that. Move two to the ready area for sure. Bring me everyone. Um, so And then we'll move two from the map. So let's get rid of you and you. It doesn't really matter too much. I mean, it sort of does. But right now it doesn't. Uh... So that's done, that's done. I use those two. This guy's going to go back up top. 
This gets reset back to zero. Okay. Check the turn track. Well, check for surrender. So if we had all six of these on the map, we would lose, which is why you don't add all six to the map. Um, and then uh, four more defenders in the waiting area. Nope. And then three or more defenders in the morgue. Nope. Okay. And then during siege, fewer than the required number of healthy defenders uh, left. Which this was supposed to be here, right at five. I think I might have hit that. I'll check the rules in a minute. But so during this, so now we're in the siege phase. So if we get to the point where um, fewer than the required number of healthy defenders left, we would lose. So we have five there. Um, let me pull that up. This is right over. Check the last turn. No, it's the seat. It's the. Thankfully, everything's labeled here very nicely. Uh, if it is siege stage and you have fewer healthy defenders, so right now, see, so right now we're at five. So, if we had, uh, if we had less than five, we would lose of healthy ones, which everyone's healthy right now. We're all okay. So we'll keep it that way. Uh, move the turn marker. Boom. Okay. Reset this. We're now going to Siege 1. It's a sunny day. And we're adding three patrols to the board. And they're coming out here now. So we got number 6. We got number 2. Number 1. Okay, add top leftmost stack to the hit bag. Shake it up. And we are drawing two from the bag now. Which is exciting. Injure one defender. The defender that gets injured is this guy, the blue guy. He is going to go. Oh, you! I got to resolve both and then resolve everything. Um, okay, and then gun one gets damaged. So gun one damage, um, and then injure one defender. Uh, so let's do that. Um, we are going to roll a die to see where he's going to go. Bed number six. Oh, great, great. He's, he's very, you know, he's just resting, this guy. Okay, so now, oh. We gotta carry it out the rest of the board. Of course. Now we gotta add four of these guys to the board. One, two, three, four. And then they are going to attack us. Holy mackerel. Okay, three, three, three. Threes do nothing. Great. Five and six. A six is a hit, a five is a move. Now, we roll for this guy. Four. Four is a move. Okay. So, we resolve our hits. Um, oh, this guy stands up. Boop. Um, hit of one. Defense is at two. We're good. Move. Move. Okay. We're good there. That wasn't too bad. Right? Right, guys? Um, okay. So, now that that's done... We are going to move on to the next phase, which is these guys that are resting. Come back. Okay, they're, they're stacked right now, but I have a total of six soldiers and one of these, my command guy. Um, I have two supplies, which means I can bring four people back. I don't really need the medic at this point. I do need soldiers, because I'm going to definitely put one over here to defend. One, two... So I'll spend that. I'll spend both supplies. Because I know I'm going to get supplies because I stacked the deck that way to do that. So that's good. Okay. Let me bring two people aside. Uh, we'll bring up a pair of this. Okay. Great. Let's, uh, let's do this. So here are my workers. We're going to put this guy over here. And for 
this guy is going to use the map room. We need to shoot, so we'll use this to shoot. Um, we need to repair. I feel like everyone's just going to repair. So repair. 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 My last guy. I'm going to put him over there, actually. So it's going to be like this now. Oh, wow. I forgot all about that. So when I shoot at a sector, I hit two and I suppress the rest. That's huge. I need to remember that. Um, you know what? Morale is always good. I got to do it. Morale is always good. Okay, we're done. Let's resolve this. Okay, this guy's going first. We're going to shoot down. Okay, he's suppressed. It's fine. This this guy is going now. Um Yeah. So that's a suppress. This guy is going now. That's a suppress. So just a lot of suppressing. That's okay. Um slow them down, you know. This guy is going to go and we got to take out stuff. So let's see how I want to take this out. I could do it where I hit two here and and, and uh oh, I could remove all four of these. All four of these are going to gone cuz this is a gun and this is a gun. Um oh no, you know what? I'll remove these two and I'll remove these two and suppress these guys. That's what we're going to do. So let's do this to remove these two. Uh, and then I got to check for gun jam. Okay, good. Six. This one, remove these two. Suppress the rest. Check for gun jam. A one, of course. It's jammed. This guy comes back. Supply run. There's no one out here. We're okay. Maintenance is going to happen. Repair, repair, repair. So that's a lot of repairing about to go on. So we're going to repair you. Put you back in the hip bag. Repair two again. Let's repair... Um, let's repair the gun. Oh, you know what? Yeah, well, I dropped in there, so we'll leave it. Repair the gun, and we'll repair the gun again. Okay, I'm okay with that. Now let's move the morale marker up. Boom. Okay, we're good there. Now let's do this step. This guy just... He oh, wait. Map room. Top three tiles. And I'm moving the marker twice to the left. So, yeah, we're going to bring the field telephone in. Oh, but we need supplies or else we lose morale. Hmm, let's do that instead. Move this too. Boom. Gain two supplies. That's what I want to see. This guy goes back. Okay. Um, now this guy heals. And now morale. So, not a red day. We're not out of supplies. No defenders in the waiting area. None in the morgue. And none in this red sector. So now we're going to draw two of the high morale cards. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I'm flipping cards everywhere. We're almost done. And this is... Oof. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Draw two. Resolve one. Look at the top two cards of any deck and put them back in any order. Or move the snow marker two steps to the left. Let's do that, because I want to get stuff. Okay. That's good. Reset that to zero. Um, no surrenders right now. We're okay. Check the turn track. We're okay here. Oh, my goodness, though. Things are about to get a lot harder. We're now getting to Siege 2. It is turn 9 of 11. And holy mackerel. Here we go.
Um, so let's reset this back here. Let's draw from the Siege 2 deck, which is a lot harder. It's a cloudy day. Moonball patience in the infirmary. One level down. Awesome! That doesn't affect us. Okay, good. It's like to see. We're going to add these two into the hit bag. And we're drawing two from the hit bag. Oh, this guy is supposed to go away. Where are my misses? Oh, of course, the thing I just repaired. Hey, right, there's our miss. We got a miss. Great. Okay, I'm okay with this. Um, these. Uh, now we're gonna add five to the board. Okay. One, two, three. Four, five. These guys are going to go first. Oh, jeez. Wait, these guys are standing up. This guy was down. Okay, a three and a five and a six. So that, that these two are going to go. Three and a five. Okay, so let's resolve this. First, I'll stand these guys up. Uh, first the hits. So we have two hits, two defense. We're okay. Moves. This guy's moving up. This guy's moving up. Get away from me. Um, okay. So we're good there. Now we're going to bring the rest guys to the ready. I could only heal up four people. Hey, Tyler. Uh, uh, and it's uh it's it's going rough right now um i am scouring to survive um let's bring out four people one two three and four and i'm just gonna have the medic ready because i got a feeling things is things are gonna go down before you know it and another soldier okay that's it for now. I have a lot less workers this time. I only have six workers this turn uh, to use. So let's use them wisely. This guy is going to unlock the map room. Get some bonuses there. We need to repair. Always need to repair. Uh, you know what? I'll send you and you out to repair. Uh, you two are going to shoot. Always need to shoot. This guy is going to move the morale track up. Okay, here we go. Defend. Start with you. A five. So that's a hit. You're going a six. That's a hit. A five. That's three hits. All right, that's good. I like that. I like that. Um, now the fire. The fire action. Oh, geez. Um, we could take out both of these, which is nice. So I think we should do that. Um, yeah, let's do that. We're going to start with you. So you get removed, and we're going to check if the gun jammed. Gun jammed, of course. Now we're going to shoot you. And the gun jam. Gun jammed, of course. Oh boy. Okay. Um, things are looking grim. We're going to repair uh, repair one of the guns. we got to unjam it. Oh, but this is important too. Yeah, you know what? I'm healing that. Is it a smart move? I don't know. you got to play from the hip. Okay. Move the morale up. One. This guy is going here. We're going to look at the top three. These are the last three. Uh, I'll keep the water up. Move this up to one and two. So we flip this over. We have one supply. Oop. We got one morale. 
Okay, I'll do that. That's fine. Uh, okay, we're done here. We're done here. Morale phase. Is it a red day? It is a red day. Are we out of supplies? No. Defenders waiting. No. Morgue. No. Red sector. No. Okay. We have to draw two. So these are the last two cards. So draw two and look at one. Okay, I can repair three damage tiles. Or I can add one miss in the hit bag and look at the top three cards of any deck and put them back in any order. Now the problem is I don't have three damage tiles to repair. So we're going to do the other one. Um, so we'll add one miss in the hit bag. Look at the top three cards. I'll look at the ones from the Siege deck. Put them back in any order. So I could choose to move this track by two, which would suck. Move all unsuppressed workers from one sector one up, which is good. <coughs> or you lose one morale and injure one defender. Okay, we're going to do this. Where all unsuppressed ones are moving up. Which is good, because that would trigger, and all of them are suppressed, so it wouldn't do anything, which is great. Uh, man, I like... Oh, man, this game's so good. Um, for real, if you like solo gaming, you need to play this game. Like, need to play this game. Um, okay, that's done. Um, okay. Three or more defenders in the morgue? Nope. Four or more defenders in the waiting area? Nope. Six of these on the board? Nope. Fewer than the required number of healthy defenders. Nope, these are all... We, we need five, so we're okay. Uh, we're going to add three patrols to the group, to the board, though. Let's see. They're adding here five, six, and four. So four, five. Oh, it's worth this. I think it's worth the 67. I think I spent around that price, too. Um, and I got mine on the late pledge for the first run of this game. Um, okay. We're done there. We're going to move the turn track. This is turn 10 of 11. Things are looking super grim. Um, so let's do this. So let's reveal the card. Which we know what it was. Move all unsuppressed. From sector one up one level, we're good right now. Um, we're gonna add these two to the hit bag. We're gonna deal two damage out from our airplanes. <sighs> okay, of course. So let's resolve this. This guy is getting hit, and he's gonna go. In spot six, this is moving forward one. This gets added. Uh, where does he get added? I think he just gets added to any one of these. So I'll just add him here. Um, okay, that's not good. Because now the next time we draw, we're drawing three tiles. Um, okay, and now we're adding six of these meeples. Yeah, it, 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 uh, I, I mean, I mean it, I mean it, 2023 was a great year for solo gaming, and, um, this game in particular, I think, is like cream of the crop of solo gaming. All right, these three are attacking. It just, you know, you, you go through the same story every time. And every time, it's so engaging. Uh, and I don't like tower defense games. And I love this one. Uh, okay, so one hit. We're good on defense. Move and move. And these guys are unsuppressed. Okay, we're doing pretty good. Why did I say that? Just jinxed it. Um, okay, moving forward. I can only bring two people with my supplies. Uh, let's 
bring you. I need another soldier. No, let's just bring. The commander's so good, though. Okay. That's good for now. Let's resolve this. So, my medic is kind of useless right now. So, we'll just use my medic to repair. We'll put you out here. Oh, this guy can't repair, though. Oh, my gosh. I need you out there. I think my medic is just going to hang out and get ready for death. Like, get ready to heal people, medic. You're done. All right. Run in with it. Here we go. Um, you're attacking first. Three. So we'll suppress. Six. Five. Great. Um, nothing. Nothing. Inspire. Let's just move this up by one. Nothing. You heal. You're back. Oh, my map room. Okay. So, which one am I going to go for? I guess I'll go for the field telephone this time. So I can give you something to do. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I, I hope I hope you consider it. Um, because it's pretty great so far. Um, okay. We're done there. So now we got problems. It is a red day. We go down one. We are out of supplies. It goes down one. That's it, though. We're going to draw two low morale cards and resolve just one. One, two, three, four, five. So we can either injure two defenders or move the supply marker one step to the right. If this is turn 11, instead draw two tiles from the hit bag. I guess let's do that. Let's move the supply marker one step to the right because we have no supply markers. So it doesn't matter. Let's just do that. Uh... Yeah. Oh, yeah. I always forget this, by the way. I could always heal two people by spending morale. I got to remember that. That's also an important rule. <laughs> um, so instead of having supplies, I could bring people in with just by spending morale, which is probably what I'm going to need to do. Um. Okay. Things are looking dire, folks. But we are not surrendering. We are not doing any sort of patrols or retreats or anything like that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We have nine out. There's only 12. There's going to be two more added, so we might be okay. Why'd I say that? Next round. Okay. Reset that. Here we go. We're getting to the end. Move the marker two steps to the right. Yep. Boom, boom. We're going to add two of these to the bag. We're going to draw five out. Jeez, here we go. Oh, man, I added to the recruit bag. Okay, one second. <laughs> I was like, why does this bag feel different? We don't need the recruit bag anymore, so I'm just going to leave it as is. Okay, five. Here we go. Oi. 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 Well, that's not too too terrible. Miss. Oh, my gosh. Okay. Man, I need more misses. So you go there. You go there. You're a miss. We're moving this forward twice. If we get this one out there, game over. Um, oh, no. Okay. Okay. 
All right. By the way, I totally forgot to put two people in rest. That's huge. Can I'm just going to make pretend I did, okay? Because I need everything I got now. <laughs> so these two are coming out. Um, so I could choose to lose morale. For every morale I lose, I bring two people in. And this is the last turn. I need as many people as I can. Yeah. So let's do this. Let's lose one morale. We'll bring these two people in. Hmm. This will give me stuff. So I could lose the morale and get stuff. I think I'm going to stop there. And we'll see if that was a good or bad move. Okay. Oh, crud, crud, crud. I forgot to add four of the German infantry to the bag and resolve the attack. So let's just do that really quickly. Um, it shouldn't affect what I did. Okay, three, three. Five, five, and six. Okay, one, three, four, four are the ones that matter. One hit, we're okay. We have defense. This guy stands up. These guys move. This guy moves. They're heading right for us. Okay, doesn't change what I was going to do, though, which is good. Um, all right. Here we go. I'm gonna move that there. That's like your only good move. This guy's gonna go here, give us plus one on each die roll. We need repairs. So repair. We need also a one more person to shovel. So you shovel, you go there. And we'll send this guy out to do to hit two people. Well, it'll injure him, but it'll be okay. And again, before I forget, two people are going to rest. Okay. Um, okay. Great. Yikes. This is okay. Here we go. Starting with this guy. I got three. Uh, that suppresses. I got five that hits. Oh wait, this guy gets plus one on each die. So this is a four, which it hits. This is a six, so that hits. This is a three, so that just suppresses. Okay, I'll take it. Um, this guy, go away. Okay, no firing, no supply runs, shoveling. So one, two, three, our last snow tiles coming off. And I believe this giving us Oh, the radio. I thought it was giving us supplies. Well, you know what? That was a complete waste. Um, okay. One, two, three, four. Repair and repair. So let's repair. Uh, let's repair the machine gun. And let's repair you. Because we need that repaired more so than anything. Um, okay. Now it's morale time. It is a red day. We are out of supply, so we're going to lose one defender. So there's a big difference. When you lose a defender, right? Uh, first of all, the order of how you lose is important. Uh, let's just double check. No, did I lose the game already? Maybe I lost the game. <laughs> um, lose one defender. There's a whole section about losing defenders because it's different than people dying, is from my understanding. Um, lose defenders. There's a whole thing about it. Uh, defenders. Okay. 
Man, this is really intense. Sorry. So I'm trying to figure out right now, when I lose a defender, um, if you're instructed to lose an unspecified defender, follow the same procedure as described previously, but instead of placing the defender in the infirmary, you place it into the reserve. So, uh, I'm going to lose a soldier. Because that was the last card that was played, so the soldier gets lost. It goes back into the reserve. Um, okay, so that happened because I was out of supplies. Defenders in the waiting area, there's none. For a defender in the morgue, nope. And then, any guys in red sectors, no. I am drawing four low morale cards and resolving three. This is bad. Also, I might have screwed up earlier, because if I draw, play a morale card and I can't resolve it, I have to draw one hit from the bag, which is not good, from the hit bag. Yeah, like this one, I would have to draw one hit from the hit bag. Okay. Uh, I think that's what I'm going to have to do. I think I'm going to have to draw five from the hit bag. So, wish me luck. They draw five from the hit bag. <coughs> Sorry, I have an awful cough. Uh. Come on, misses. Okay, damage. Oh my gosh, that's game. Okay, so uh, this goes here, this goes there, this goes there. This guy gets injured. I mean, I'm rolling, but it doesn't matter. Of course, he's in the lowest. Uh, morale goes down by one. So we lose a defender. I lose another soldier. And then this guy is what cost me the game. This slides over, adds the last one of these to the board. <laughs> Sorry. After doing so, we check now for surrender, which is what's going to happen now. Three or more defenders are in the morgue. Nope. Four or more defenders in the waiting area. Nope. Six of these are out on the board. Yes. We lost. Oh, we didn't lose yet. I lied. The surrender marker goes up by one. Okay, that's important. So five to six. Okay, we didn't lose yet. We're going to lose, but we didn't lose yet. Um, and now we check the turn track for patrols. Oh my gosh, this is rough. I'm adding three of them to the two of them to the bag. There's only three of them here, so number four and number three are getting added to the bag. I mean, to the board. Okay. No coup. No retreat. The last. Stand. This is the last card of the game. The very last card. The last stand. We set this down to winter. So that's over there. Injure two defenders or move surrender one level up. We can't move surrender up one. Um, because then we would lose. So. Here is what has to happen. We're going to injure two defenders, so two of our soldiers are getting injured. Oh, jeez. Spot three and five. Okay. We're adding this to the bag. We're drawing eight of these from the hit bag. This is not going to be good. One, two, three, four, five. That's a lot of red. Six, seven, eight. Okay. So, um, let's see. We're gonna we're going to miss, which is good. We're going to lose one supply. 
which uh, we don't have supply to lose. So in that case, we will, I'm sure nothing bad will happen, right? Uh, no, something bad, of course, always happens with these. Uh, the air tiles. Uh, it does not stay. Yeah. Oh, okay, but we're going to lose right now. Doesn't matter, because we're about to lose. So, this goes away. We're going to injure three defenders. So, in this case, the last... We're going to lose three of our soldiers. Injured. And because we're out of room... Uh, we're out of room, so they're just going to go into the waiting area. Two, three, and six. Uh... We're going to lose morale. Damage gun one. And now here's the thing. We need to move this to the right. We can't move it to the right anymore. So it says, if no, uh, and if no uh, German artillery pieces remain on the artillery track and you draw another artillery tile, move the surrender marker one level up, which means we are now in one of the loss conditions, unconditional surrender. Oh. Yeah. Not looking good. Is right. We just lost. But hang on. There's there's more. Let's make pretend that didn't happen and just see how the rest of it plays out. Right? I'll still count it as a loss. Okay, it's still a loss. But let's see what could have happened had that not happened. We would add seven of these guys to the board now. Four, five, six, seven. So we're gonna go one, two, three, four. Five, six, and seven. We would add seven of them to the board. They would then attack. This is uh, this is the whole thing. They're going. They're, I was getting to this part. So, uh, so we're gonna do that. And now, um, The infantry is going to attack, so let's just do that really quickly. One, two, three, four, five. Here we go. Because if I didn't lose that way, how else would I lose? Uh, three are going to go into the move. One's going to go here. Now these guys are going to go. Okay. Three and four are going to go here, and two sixes are going to go there. We're going to roll four. Four, five, six, six. Wow, I'm rolling great for the, you know. Yeah, yeah. It's definitely going to be sausage or sauerkraut for breakfast. Um, oh, I forgot to do this. This guy should have been injured. One second. He'd be in bed number one. Um, and then two of these would get removed. So I'll just leave it as is. Um, okay, whatever, whatever, um, so five damage is going to happen, so because of that five damage, one, two, three, four, five, we defend two of them, which means three of them gets through, and when that happens, we're going to injure these two and then one person in here, so here we go, it's going to be one and four. We look at the, the, the list. It's going to be this guy is going to get injured. He's going to go in spot number four. Man, we're just overflowing there. Um, okay. And then it's got this arrow over here, which means they all are just going to charge at us. So I'm my headset now. Okay. So this point of the, the game, if you have no defenders in the defensive positions, which we don't, move all German infantry meeples two steps forward. Oh, I forgot to move people, so hang on. This guy goes there. This guy goes there. This guy goes there. This guy is unsuppressed. Uh, move all of them two steps forward. So you, you're there. These are all in the charge area. Okay. Boom, boom. So, and then we resolve a charge. 
though, what would happen is we would injure the leftmost defender, and then we would go down the list. So it would be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We would lose one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, right? Seven of these would be injured. So let's just put them in the injury pile, okay? Doesn't really matter where they're going. Um, and then if you have one or more defenders in the defensive positions, uh, move all German infantry meatballs one step forward and resolve. So, hang on. Uh, no, we're good. So these get removed. The game is now over. Compare the number of healthy defenders you have in the defensive positions and the tired, ready positions. And if you have at least that number of healthy defenders here, you'd win the game. So we would need six. We only had two. So we just lost the game. Wow. But holy moly, what an incredible game. Um, this game's awesome. Uh, go play it. I'm going to go pack it away. But uh, thank you all for watching. This is a, a really fun one. Um, next week, we'll be back with a call aboard where we'll be doing um, the most anticipated games of 2024 that we know of so far. But until next time, I'm going to cue that music. And I want to wish everyone a good night. So, good night, everyone. Bye.